Hello and welcome back to the channel. As we continue our series on learners, today we will look at the topic users and groups in learners. Let's begin. When we open a learners terminal, the first word we notice in the learners terminal is the user that is logged into the system. So for our user here is KLA. To confirm the user name, there are a few commands that we can use. One of these command is who am I? So we type who am I and press enter. It tells us the name of the user that is logged in. Another command that we can use to confirm the user that is logged in is just a command called users. And when you press enter, it tells us the name of the user. To check the user home directory, we can use ls minus l on the location slash home. And when we press enter, it shows us the user home directory. Just looking at the user home directory, you may be tempted to think that there is only one user on the system. But in actuality, there are more than one users on the system. To confirm the users on the system, let us take a look at the passwd directory. So we can use cat space slash etc slash passwd and we press enter. It shows us all the users that are found on the learner system. On a learner system, users are categorized into three. The first type of user is called the super user or the admin user or the administrator. And that user is the root user. So the root user is the most powerful user on a learner system. The second category of users on learners are referred to as system users. These are the users that were created during the installation of learners. And sometimes they also get created during the installation of certain applications on learners. The third but not the least type of user are regular user or ordinary user. These are the user accounts that are created by the root user. Example will be the KLA user. That user is a regular user. So these are the three categories of user. To create users on learners, you need to have administrative privileges. Our KLA user is a regular user. Therefore, this user cannot create other user. In order to create new users, we will use the user add command. But because we do not have administrative privileges, we need to invoke that. To do that, we need to precede the command with sudo. So type the word sudo space, user add space, the name of the user. And you press enter and the user has been created. We can verify that this user has been created by checking the slash etc slash pass wd and we'll press enter at the very bottom we will see that this user welfare has been created for us the next thing i'm going to do is to display the content of the pass wd directory so i will say cat space slash etc slash pass wd space i'm going to use the pipe and then space grip and then i put the name of the user. So when I press enter, I just want to display the content of this pass directory, but then I, I just want to limit it just to this user account. In a future video, we will learn about the pipe and the grip commands in Linux. For now, I'm just using it to display just the user we just created, and I want us to take a look at this user. So. When a user is created in Linux, there is an entry that is added to this slash etc slash pass wd for the user account. Let us have a look at this user that we created information in the pass wd directory. In the first column, we see the name of the user. In the next column, where we have the X, that's an encrypted password. In the third column, we have the user identifier. In the fourth column, we have the group that the user belongs to, and this is the group identifier. The next column is the absolute path to the user home directory. And the last but not the least column is the path for the default shell that the user uses when they log in. The next thing we want to do is to set a password for the new user we create. There. To that, we'll put sudo space pass wd space, the name of the user, and we we'll press enter. 
and they ask us to define the user password. So I'm just going to type in the user password. It's actually typing the password, but it's not going to display the password. So once I'm done typing the password, I will press enter and then I will be prompted to re-enter the password, which I will do. And then I will press enter and then I will confirm that the password has been successfully updated. Once the password has been updated, the next thing to do is to log in with that user. So to do that, I can just use SU, which is switch user, and then put the name of the user and press enter, and then put in the user password and press enter, and then the user has logged in. To confirm that it is the new user, I can type who am I and press enter, and it shows us the name of the user. You will notice that there is a difference between this prompt and the prompt above. The reason is the new user we created has the born share as the default share. And this previous user that was created during the installation has the bash share as the default share. The next thing we want to do right now is to log out of this user. So to do that, we'll just use the exit command and then we press enter and we log out of that user and come back to the KLA user. The next thing we're going to do is to create another user, but this time around, we're going to add other options to the user add command. So we'll begin by tapping sudo space, user add space, the name of the user space. We will put minus M, which is the option to create a home directory for the user. The next option is to use the minus S, which allows us to define the default login shell for the user. So we're going to have the user to log in with the bash shell by default. So it's slash bin slash bash space. The next option we're going to use is the minus C. The minus C allows us to define comment for the user. So that comment can be the user name, the user telephone number, or other additional information concerning the user. So in the case, I would just put this is our second user and, and close the quotation and I will press enter. So that user has been created for us. So I will clear my screen and then I will display the content of the passwd directory. Let us scroll up and look at the root user. The root user is the administrator user. This root user is reserved the user ID of zero. The next is we have series of ID between one to 99. Those IDs are reserved for predefined accounts. So for example, the bin account has an ID of two. So it falls within a category of one to 99. Then we have a third set of reservation, which is IDs 100 to 999. Those are reserved by the system for administrative and system accounts or group accounts. The Lando system will use ID 1000 and above to assign it to new users and new groups that are created on Landers. That's why we have 1000 for KLA user and the user welfare has the ID of 1001 and the user Fred has the ID of 1002. The next thing I'm going to do is clear my screen. We will wrap up to this video with just sticking to users and then in the next video, we will talk about groups. So to finish up, there is another command that we can use to create user on Landers. So we'll start by sudo. And this command is called add user and you press space and then you put the name of the user. So I'm just going to put the name of the user and I will press enter. Automatically, we are prompted for the admin password. So I'll put in my admin password and I'll press enter. We notice that this command added the user account, added a group account for the user and then added the user to that group and then created a home directory for the user and then copy files from the etc slash scale directory and then right away we are prompted to put in a password so i'm just going to put in a password and press enter and then retype the password and press enter then we are prompted to enter the user full name which is like when you use the minus c with the user i command which allows you to put in the comment so this is the equivalent of that so i'll put in the user full name put i can skip the room number and put the telephone number if I want, put the home phone number if I want, and then put other and then press enter. And then once everything is correct and I'm satisfied, I press Y for yes, and then I enter. So I will clear my screen and I will display the content of the passwd directory.
And then when we look at the bottom, we see that this user has been created for us. So I'm going to clear my screen again, and I will display the content of the home directory. And there we have this user that has been created and the home directory, everything created. With the user R command, you can actually put in the password by using the manual speed option, but that's not a secure way because it displays the password in the terminal in plain text. So it's better to use the pass WD space, the username. So it's good to add the password later on. So we can create one user and then I will just show you how that looks like. So we use the sudo user R space. Let us put the name of the user space minus M for the user home directory space minus S to specify the default shell for the user minus C to put the comment for the user minus P to put the user password and then we'll press enter to create the user. But like I said, this is not a secure way to create the password with a minus P option because it displays the password right within the terminal in plain text. After creating the Delamine user, let us take a look at the shadow directory. So I'll use the command cat space slash etc slash shadow. So like the past WD directory that has all the users on the system, the shadow directory keeps all of the password of the user on the system. So I will press enter. Yes, we have permission denied because we didn't use sudo. So I will begin by using sudo slash etc slash shadow and press enter. As we can see, the shadow directory keeps all of the user account and an encrypted version of the password. So you see all these users have encrypted version. But the Delamain user, because we use the hyphen P option, the password is right here in plain text. A secure way to create the user password is to use the pass wd command and put the username. I will just use sudo put the username and press enter and then put in the password, repeat the password and the password has been updated. So if I take a look at that file again, the shadow file, Sorry, I should put sudo. So sudo space cat space slash etc slash shadow. Press enter. Now, as you can see, the Delamain user password has been encrypted. It's no more in the plain text. So using the slash p option with the user add command, like I said, it's not a secure way to create a user password as it keeps the password in the plain text. It's better to create the user account and then you can use the passwd with the user account to create an encrypted password. All right, this brings us to an end of today's episode. In our next episode, we will look at groups and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed and make sure to share the video with someone that will find it useful. So until we meet again, take care, bye for now.